All right. Well, we are back with another To Catch a Predator commentary. This one is going to be Dustin McFatridge, um, his interrogation. I had a um, part one of what was going to be a series of me doing this, and I decided that that series really, really isn't um, up there quality-wise, so um, I decided that I'll just redo the entire thing instead of continuing it from a certain point. Um, so, without further ado, let's see who this guy has to bring in to talk to Dustin McFetridge. Spoiler alert! You'll love his name, and he's a great guy. I got an interviewer who's going to come in here and talk to you in private in a few minutes. It's worse, worse. You know, it's honestly, it's really strange how defeated Dustin starts out. And I guess it can be attributed to um, just the uh, detective he does bring in, Detective Dudinsky. I, I told you you'd love his name. Um, Dudinsky, it, it can go to show how good of a detective he is. Um, Dustin is really fucking... Uh, d despondent. He's fucking hopeless here. He's just fucking. God, look at him. He it's it's Jover for him. He is completely done. He thinks this is the end. It is, but he thinks this is more of the end. And Dudensky still gets him to talk. It's really really cool. Detective Dudensky is a is really good at his job. And that's what I like about coming and watching these interrogations, is you can see the police officers who are really good at their job. And it's really cool to see police who can do their job. I would never imagine of hurting anybody, and I would never imagine I'd be arrested or in a jail or police station. PlayStation. <laughs> then you have the fucking NBC cameras coming in. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. It looks like a sci-fi gun. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh man. He must... Oh. I was saying he was hopeless before, but look at him now. Now that the cameras are here. Because Chris is um, typically dismissive with, like, uh, not telling anyone what will happen when they leave the house. But this guy, he was... Destin asked, like, am I free to leave? And Chris said, yeah. And um, so I think Destin took that as, there's not going to be cops there when I walk out. And most people take that as, there's going to be cops there. Which is really funny, because Destin feels personally betrayed by Chris Hansen. There's Dudensky with the water well, bottles. Stuff happens. We'll have Kentucky a chance to Bureau of Investigation. I've never hurt anybody, sir. Okay. And I mean, I'm not saying you hurt anybody. Yeah. I just, just slow down. I'm gonna have to get yeah. some information from you. Okay. I don't. I don't I just, you know who I am? No. And you're sitting here telling me your whole life story. Just hold on a sec, okay? I'm, I'm too honest about everything, okay. sir. And well, we'll get we'll get a chance to talk all. This is a big. This is a big part of his entire defense. Is that he's so honest. <laughs> he's just so honest. He literally couldn't lie about coming to fuck this kid. He's just too honest. <laughs> I mean, you can say that. You want a water? No. Okay. I'll probably throw it up right now. Well, it's there if you want it. I'll well, just it. relax, man. Just relax, okay? 
Just calm down, all right? Oh, We're just going to talk a little bit, all right? I'm going to get some information from you real quick. I mean, like the Dateline NBC guy told him. Tell me. Well, I'm not with Dateline, I'm an okay? Idiot. I'm not with Dateline. My name is John, all right? Okay. John Dudensky. John Dudensky. <laughs> I'm with Kentucky Bureau of Investigation, now the Attorney General's office, okay? okay. I'm an agent, and which means I'm a policeman, okay? Mm -hmm. Um. Ain't no reason to be all nervous or anything. All we're going to do is we're going to talk. I'm going to get your name and stuff, all right? I'm just... All right. The reason I'm nervous is because, honestly, this can kill my mama. Okay. But I am an only child. And, and I don't... I don't want to say he's not capable of doing it, because he definitely is. He does it in the uh, chat logs... He uses his disability to um, to get a lot of things, and you can see that, like him using his disability to um, not have to work, he uh, definitely could be on some kind of social security program, um, especially because I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, I might be mistaken, I th think... Hold on, where does he live? It, I think it was South Carolina. I think it was South Carolina. He should be able to get a like a minimum wage job and still be on Social Security benefits. Because, granted, there are a lot of um, terms and conditions with like Social Security um, where Destin possibly couldn't. Be like make he could be making too much money to qualify um, but I don't think that's what's going on here I just think he just personally hasn't looked for work in his life I I think that's more so the answer to the question well let's let's do this you sound like you want you want to talk to me okay and I want to hear what you have to say, but until I tell you this, we need to... I just, I don't want to get to jail because I can't, I couldn't deal without having the jail. I understand that. Because, I mean, I can't walk without this. I understand. Okay. Before I ask you any questions, you got to know your rights, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in court or in other proceedings. You have the right to have an attorney before you make any statement or answer any questions. You can have your attorney present during questioning. You may Another thing is, another thing is, you always see those, like, uh, JCS videos of, like, police interrogation, and none of those guys ask for their lawyer. I can't think of a TCAP guy who I've seen the interrogation of who's asked for a lawyer, like, immediately. I, I really can't think of one who's just lawyered up instantly. But, I mean, especially now, like, <laughs> this is the time to get a fucking lawyer, dude. And you still don't. It's a court to appoint an attorney for you if you cannot afford to hire one. Alright? If you start talking to me and you want to quit talking, you can stop it. And, 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 uh, I want to make it clear. I'm glad. They're not getting a goddamn attorney. I am glad they're fucking goofballing their chances. Because, yeah, no, you don't really deserve to see the light of day, Dustin. And neither does anyone on this show who could have possibly lawyered up. Yeah, none of you fucking deserve freedom. Any time by refusing to answer questions or by requesting consultation with your attorney, all right? I don't like lawyers, and I'll be honest, is You don't like lawyers? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, what this says here... <laughs> I, forgot he, I forgot he said that. Oh, my God. I think I think there's a story behind it. I think, I think there's a story behind it about him getting scammed. I think there was a disagreement over money with a lawyer. And that's why he doesn't like lawyers. That, or I'm completely pulling that out of my ass. I don't know. I can't really remember. Is that I've read you your rights. Do you understand them? Yes, sir. 
You understand that you can stop talking at any time yes, you sir. want to. You can have an attorney. You can have an attorney with you during questioning. It's 11.09. Yeah, I forgot it's the time change. Yeah, we're on right. central time. I'm an idiot. Yeah, so this guy came to, and he not only came to see the, I think it was 13-year-old decoy girl, but she was supposedly had a seven-year-old sister who they were going to have a threesome with. With a seven-year-old at 11 o'clock at night. It's it's pretty relic it is it's pretty ridiculous to me how this guy thinks he can get away with that. Really. Like I don't understand it. I did a lot of wrong and Okay. If you understand your rights as I've read them to you, if you'll sign right here for me where it says signature. Something I've ever done. Okay. Now this this waiver down here says that you having the above statement of your rights read and explained to you and you fully understand them and that's correct, right? Correct. You hereby waive these rights at eleven ten PM and you're wanting to talk to me, correct? Yes, sir, I will. Um, you know the really bad part of this? The daylight on the NBC guys. <laughs> this is where this is where his beef with Chris comes up. <laughs> I wouldn't be under arrest. He I said leave. I wouldn't be under arrest. Oh, I can leave. Just sign right there. Well, Dateline doesn't doesn't work for for us. They're not policemen. They're news people. I know, but that's just wrong that he lied to me. Right. Well, we'll, talk, I mean, I we'll talk about that in a minute. I understand why I'm here. Right. But he shouldn't have lied to me. You know? Right. He should have said, well, you are... <laughs> I, I understand what I did, but also, is it really fair, really fair to not tell me the police, the police are going to show up? I know I was coming to have sex with kids, but... <laughs> what the fuck, Destin? What is this defense? Get a lawyer. <laughs> I don't like him. Under arrest. Like I said. Okay. I'm gonna turn this on real quick, all right? And then okay. how about you videotaping? Nah, I'm gonna tape record it. I'm old fashioned, man. Okay. What? Oh, don't worry, Dustin. This is being recorded, buddy. This is recorded. <laughs> go digital <laughs> yeah I didn't know what this was when I saw it I was like where you put the tape in <laughs> yeah go. I was supposed to buy my buddy one of those this week so he could write his book oh my god the fucking wrestler the fucking wrestler so god damn it Morton. I figured out it was Ricky Morton I didn't even have to look it up it's Ricky Morton okay so Ricky Morton Right, he's this fucking, he's this fucking B-list hometown hero wrestler, right? I think he was in the WWE like once or twice, like in a like a WWE sponsored show, like once or twice, and he had a bunch of child support payments, <laughs> and so he wrote this book to try to pay for the child support payments, and he was having. Dustin McFadass write his book for him or help him write his book. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. You have a Oh yeah. He's gonna you, write a book. You have a sex offender fucking writing your book to pay for your alimony and child support. Book? Yeah, he's a wrestler, but I won't mention no names because I don't need to be in All right. anywhere. Well it's twenty three eleven and uh we'll don't talk need to be Dustin. anywhere. Already found it. What's your last name, Dustin? McFetridge. McFetridge? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the whole world will find me easily.
If it's released, and I mean, I don't want trouble. I don't like trouble. I'd have never hurt her. <laughs> Wasn't gonna force her into anything. And this m morning, I think it was 11, 12 Eastern time, she had called me and come see me, please, because my parents are going to be out of town, please. So, he here's something with that disability thing, right? And it also makes me say what I say is because he constantly, constantly shifts blame off of himself and onto other people. Um, he, he puts it onto the girl, onto Chris Hansen. Oh, he didn't say I was under arrest. Oh, she's been begging me to come down here. But he doesn't just, he doesn't understand that he's an adult. He, he, is the one who is constantly in control of that situation and he needs to be the one like no no because realistically realistically let's say like there was a real girl there i don't know if he could have forced himself on her like she's probably bigger than most 13 year old girls it, is he faster? No, no. Like, there's there's no way he could have, like, realistically, without somehow, like, getting an element of surprise. I don't even want to, like, think about him solid snaking around her fucking house. But it, it, there's no real way for him to, like, really physically do something. And he uses that to make this persona of, like, well, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. I mean... You know, I couldn't do nothing to her. I, I wouldn't have either. Like, it, it's the whole, I couldn't hurt a fly defense. Oh, you wouldn't? No, no, I couldn't. Like, I, I physically can't. You would, but, like, it, there's a physical deficiency keeping you from it. He definitely would. I'm like, okay, I was going to call. I thought she was going to call and we was going to talk and discuss stuff and everything because she has called me a few times and I mean it was out of the ordinary and I like the NB yeah just listen to him listen to him as he talks he'll go and, and and she called me all the time and she did this and she did that and he'll interject interject with these little things to try to try to make it seem and I mean in the chat log, yeah, there are times when the perverted justice decoy reached out to McFetridge, but it was never like, uh, yeah, so you want to bang me a minor, right? You want to just have sex with me. Like, it, it, that's not what it is, you know? The guy said, she, she said she was 13, I thought she was 17. Sometimes I have a bad memory. I know 17 under the limit, too. I was talking to her, and I was thinking, okay, she turned 17, and then, when she turns 18, <coughs> I'll meet her. <coughs> and if anything's meant to be, it'll be meant to be then. Well, you're kind of, you're kind of starting, like, just, just tell me a whole story out there, but not from the beginning. Why don't you, why don't you start from the beginning of how you met her, and... Okay, I can. I was right. just being honest. And well, I be honest from the beginning. And Dudinsky never, and Dudinsky never, and there's another fucking introduction, in, or sorry, interjection. I'm just being honest, I'm just being honest, trust me, trust me, I'm just being honest. Like, it's, eh. Um, yeah, and Dudinsky never lets, never lets Destin um, get the better of him. He constantly fucking calls him out for all this shit, and it's very good, it's very good. Yeah, like okay. I said, you jumbled it all up there for me. Start from the beginning. How'd you happen to meet her? Okay, I was in a Yahoo chat room. I don't remember. Tennessee chat room. Tennessee chat room. Yeah, it was a Tennessee chat room. It was probably one, two, five, seven, or nine. So that's the usually ones I go through. And I mean, I've only talked to one other underage girl, and that was a problem, like I told the NBC. Oh, is that the fucking steakhouse story? I think that's the fucking... St 
the steakhouse story where his mom had to get on the phone and smooth everything over for him. And that's a... Uh, God, I feel like Dustin McFetridge interjecting every fucking 15 seconds. That's another thing he does in this interview. He brings up his mom a whole lot. His mom seems to be very, very important to him. Um, it's really strange. It's really strange, <laughs> to be completely honest. Yeah. Well, we'll get to that. Tell yeah. me about this girl. <laughs> yeah, okay, I am. I'm just trying to explain everything, and I'm bad at telling stories. All right. I met her, I talked to her some, and she's real friendly, real nice, and everything. And like I said, I thought she said she was 17. You know, there's no problem with talking to somebody or calling somebody at the eight. I don't think there is, is there? Um, whatever, um, Dudensky says that it doesn't matter, he can lie. You can. It, it, you can't, actually. It is actually a crime to talk to, um, an underage person with, uh, the hopes of having sex. So, I mean, as much as Destin says, like, the things I did weren't technically illegal, they very much were illegal, it's just another one of his, you know, uh, destinisms to try to defend his actions. No, I mean, no problem talking to somebody who's 17, but yeah. go ahead. I mean, well, I'm asking the law <laughs> because I'm, I'm not, I know you can't do nothing with anybody under 18 if you're over 18. I know that much. Okay. I didn't know if it was bad for me to pick up the phone and talk to a 17 year old and say hey how are you i didn't know <laughs> so you're talking to okay him. yeah and there goes the the classic predator technique of going so wait is it illegal to just talk on the phone no it's because you were like talking on the phone about anal and fucking doing it raw no rubber like <laughs> the talking on the phone bit isn't the bad part it's the no rubber <laughs> Yeah, and we're friends and everything, and she's being sweet and joking around and stuff, and I mean, it's in Did the, you ever see her? i seen photos, photo of her or something, on her MySpace. Okay. And... Did she ever see you? Yeah. I gave her my MySpace page, I mean, I share information, right? Right. So, I don't, I don't mean to like but hear me out right if you're Dustin McFetridge and someone goes I find you attractive is your first instinct like I've seen you and want to have sex with you that's what they say is your first instinct really that person is telling the truth Really? You're Dustin McFetridge. Like, I'm sorry, but it's true. I'm a very open person. I mean, it's like I told her a few days after we started talking. Yeah, I'm, I have cerebral palsy. I walk with a cane. I don't, know, I don't know if I told her about my hand or not. And stuff like that. And I'm very open. I don't want to hurt nobody. And I like to make friends. The internet's the best way I can make friends because people look bad upon me like I'm retarded or something personally. So it's hard to make friends other than that. And so, I mean, alright, like, listen, I'm not the, I'm not the most neurotypical man on earth, alright? I feel ostracized and outside of uh, the in-group all the fucking time. I never feel normal. But, but, listen, man. Listen, man. That is not the defense. That is not the defense you should go for. Why is that your idea? I have... <coughs> I have a, I have a disability. Which means, which means, I can't make friends. So, so, here's the third step. Question mark. Fourth step. Statutory rape is okay. Like, it's an underwear gnome type plan. 
a def <laughs> the, the underwear gnome allegations. I mean, there's a lot of bad stuff that happens on the internet like this, and people lie, but you can make some good friends on there. <laughs> again, again with the, again with the fucking uh, equiv equivocating um, fucking child rape and lying. What is, what the fuck is wrong with you, fucking? You know, there's a lot of bad stuff on the internet. Child trafficking, people lying to you, Rick Rolls. <laughs> <laughs> If the detective kept him talking long enough, he would have definitely pulled up Rick Rolls. He he would have brought up Rick Rolls, uh, for a fucking example of how people on the internet are mean to him. And I don't. It's just. And then we just started talking, and I don't know. I lost my head. I done something stupid and stuff and. I agged it on, and she encouraged, and she agged a little bit, and I mean, like I said, yeah, today, he, he, she agged he me coming up here. Back into the... I didn't have no plans of doing it. Yeah, yeah, look, 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 she, he's back to the, oh, well, if I say that I'm, I didn't want to come up here, I'm free to go. Destin, who has the, um... What is the fucking color? Uh, bluish purple, but it looks... <sighs> what color is his PT Cruiser? Is it purple blue? Purple blue PT Cruiser looks blue in the sun. Something like that. Something like that. God damn it. I can't even remember my fucking original thought because I was thinking about what fucking color his car is. Because he makes a big fucking deal about it. He makes a big fucking deal about what fucking color his goddamn car is and why i okay this is like a personal thing i'm i'm sorry to get a little bit ranty but this is a personal thing okay i really don't like like an oversharing of details when something can be simplified um I, when something can be portrayed really simply i don't really like it when a bunch of uh, details are added in I like to have the most concise version possible. Um, so when this motherfucker just keeps bringing up, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, when this motherfucker just keeps bringing up his what, what goddamn color his PT Cruiser in when the fucking sun is at a 68 degree angle to the apex of his fucking hood, I don't give a goddamn. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a goddamn about your PT Cruiser, Destin. She's a sweet person, and I didn't want, want to upset her. And that was stupid. I should have told her no. I didn't want to upset the She got mad. Oh, well. But I, I wasn't thinking. I was like, okay. There was my original thought. Destin, you have the blue-purple PT Cruiser, okay? You are the one who elicits the interaction. You can't interact without that PT Cruiser. You live in different states, okay? Like, who's going to take her to you? Not many people. Not many people at all. All right? You are the only one who can make you two come together. It's on you to make that not happen. Not on her. Because no matter what she fucking hymns and haws about, you should come see me, you should come do whatever, you're the one with the fucking vehicle, numb nuts. Like, no, oh, meet her, hang out. Nothing bad. I mean, I've. Stupid thing is, I've heard reports like this in Virginia and other states and stuff like that. And these. Weirdos will bring ropes and knives and stuff. <clears throat> In the undying words of Chris Hansen, you're one of those weirdos. <laughs> like, 
Dustin, how do you not get this? I didn't bring... Do you, do you have anything like that in your car? No. Would you mind if we looked in your car? I'll be honest to you, everything it's easy. Nope, he doesn't have anything in his car. He does have child porn on his computer, though. Uh, it's... It, it's... Pre and, and that's one of the reasons why I feel so little bad about this guy. Is because I don't like people who... Um, really use their disability as a crutch. I mean, I also don't like people who go like, oh, you're like, inc it's incredibly painful for you to move your limbs. You have incredible arthritis. Um, you should work on a construction site, idiot. You shouldn't get social security money. No, absolutely. Th this man cannot work to the, to my capacity. He couldn't do. He couldn't do my job. He couldn't do my job. He couldn't work where I work. But he can work. He can do things. He just wants it to look like he can't. He wants to seem like this little helpless guy, and that's what makes him so fucking ugh to me, man. He just he's putting on this completely fucking um, not true farce. He's just a fucking idiot. I don't... He's a goofball. That's it. I mean... As far as I know. Well, what, I, what I'd like yeah. to do is is get you to say it's okay for us to look in your car. Yeah, it's fine. Because we want to verify that you didn't bring nothing to kill her or anything. No, the only bad things I brought was my electric razor. Mm-hmm. Because she said she wanted to... Uh, be shaved down there and I don't know why I did that mm -hmm. and I think I let me I I can't remember I thought I brought some hand moisturizer or KY, KY jelly, jelly. I don't know which it is okay I can't remember what was and that for I don't know I don't know why I even brought it I wasn't thinking you're not washing your hands with KY so he he tries to say he doesn't know if it was hand sanitizer or KY jelly and fucking Dudinsky immediately shuts him down with the powerful line of, you don't wash your hands with KY. Actually, he says wash, but that's besides the point. I just picked it up. Hey, Justin. <laughs> man to man uh, here. <laughs> if we're going to talk and be honest with each other, I am. okay? I am. I'm going to be honest with you. I know where you're coming from. Yeah. It's it's hard to meet people, okay? Yeah, I mean, I, I, get on, I picked it up. <laughs> okay, hold on a sec. I know how hard it is to meet people. See that? I'm 40 years old. You know what I mean? I try and meet people all the time. Never I understand what it's like to get on the internet. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And meet people. Okay? Mm -hmm. I understand what it's like to go visit people. But I never get in my car and throw KY jelly in there without a reason. Mm -hmm. All right? But I, I'm being honest. Why did you throw the KY jelly in the car? I don't, I, like I said, I don't know if it's KY or okay. hand lotion. I okay, don't what were you going to use it for? You can... One's for sex, one's for, for washing, washing your hands. hands. You weren't going to wash your hands with KY. KY. Right? No. All right, one more time. One's for sex, one's for washing your hands. You weren't going to wash your hands with KY, right? No. What were you going to use it for? I guess. Was it in case you had sex with her? Yeah, but I was going to try not to. I understand but that. I'm, I'm being honest. I understand you got it. I mean, <laughs> I'm a man it all too. happened you because it was yeah. I swear It's off. hard. But if it would have happened... Uh, you had the KY jelly, you were prepared. Yeah, but I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, and I mean... Okay, well, let's do I this. I don't know. Let's do this right here. Like I said, I'm I'm an idiot. Okay. And I mean... Yes. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm not calling you an idiot, you know? I'm calling I, myself. I, well, I, I'm not I'm, gonna call you one. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna listen to your story, okay? And we're gonna talk about a few things I that mean, are in your chat just to make sure everything's okay. What kind of vehicle are you driving tonight? A 2005 PT Cruiser, and it's actually in my mother's name and my name. Here it is. Oh, my God. This fucking, um, this fucking blue-purple PT Cruiser, purple in the sun, or whatever. I fucking hate it. It's in both his and his mom's name, which I like, okay, I just don't understand how you can trust or love 
Destin, Destin Dustin enough that you would co-sign on that vehicle. That's the only reason it didn't fucking cross my mind the first time, was I didn't understand how you could love that man enough. But no, I guess she fucking does. She cares about her son, no matter who he may be. Which, I mean, I that'd be good if you were the mother to literally anyone else. What, uh, what color is it? Depends on how the sun hits it. It's a bluish purple. Okay. There I'm it being is. Honest. That's. It's, it's a weird color. That's. The quote. Fuck. That. Fuck that PT Cruise. Fuck that. I hate that color. I hate that color. And I hate that car. I hate everything about his fucking wife. I've only seen one other one like it. Tennessee tags? Yes. Like, uh, he lives in Tennessee. My bad. My bad. I'm pretty sure he lives in Tennessee. Not South Carolina. Why don't I think it was South Carolina? Huh. Well. Huh. Um. Well, I'm trying to think about if that would really mess with his ability to get Social Security. I don't know. I really. No, I really do not know. Um. Whether or not that would. If or I do not know if getting like a like a job that pays normal wages would allow him to stay on social security he might just kind of be in that situation but it's dustin mcfetridge so i don't want to give him the benefit of the doubt he's probably just fucking cheating the system fuck it oh no oh they're they're reading off his tags. Remember when they forgot to fucking censor the uh, the guy's social security number? It's good memory. Well, I come up with the same. Go I with couldn't it. tell you the plate number on my truck, I... and I've had it for five years. <laughs> Somebody ever steals it, I'm in trouble. Yeah, well, that's I'll, that's I'll pretty I'll, good. That's the second vehicle I had, and that's the only vehicle I've locked. So. All right, and I told you already. My name is John Dudinsky, right? Yes. And I'm with the Attorney General's office. Mm. I mean, please don't arrest me because it's... I can't survive in jail. Well, we're going to... Gonna... Oh, Destin. Destin. You're getting arrested. <laughs> you were arrested when you were brought here, fucker. <laughs> but, I mean, he makes a good point. Like, he's definitely, when he's in prison, had to be put in, like protective custody he's like a he's he's a fucking kitty diddler who can be killed like killed by the average human so like they definitely have his ass on watch they're watching his ass because he is a fucking target and a half we're gonna talk about some stuff all right so just Stay calm, drink your water, relax. We I can't drink water. We got we got time to talk, okay? So we're not gonna get in a hurry about anything. What's the camera recording or something? Yeah, that's so that you know He found it. <laughs> yeah. You can't say I did something to you in here and I can't say that He found us, we gotta go. Uh, no, but we should probably end the video here. I do still want to keep these segments down a little bit. Um, little, little, little channel updates before I leave. Um, the Juicy J Juice Mania. Uh, it's a little, <laughs> it's a little bullshit analog horror series. It's going to be really, uh, really bad. It's more of a, uh, the fun little side thing that I'm going to do. It's for me, not for you. So you can eat a dick if you don't like.
Um, but these will be on their way. Um, I'm hoping to get this done by um, the end of next week. Um, the entire interview. And hopefully move on to more interrogations um, for predators that I've already done. Um, and uh, maybe in the future do some more.